Greetings, this is Ron Smelik with a quick play test. I've made a couple changes to my Grinchmas map for version 1.01 .01, and I thought you'd enjoy coming along to just see me debug it. Now these are all cosmetic changes for the most part. The first one is this stanza here. It now says, <clears throat> The button says up, though your spirits are down. Back to the grindstone you go with a frown. So I pick fix the rhyme scheme or down rhymed with down. Minor note, for whatever reason, when I create a, a poem, when I write a poem, um, I can't I can't immediately debug it. Um, it needs to sit in my brain for a while and kind of ruminate until it's ready to be debugged. Uh, so the next thing that I changed was here and what I did let's see if let's see if it's immediately obvious so there's the fifth lever pull uh, notice I have five coins and now there's an extra coin there and some extra coins in here amidst, amidst the trash uh, so basically, oh, is that a bug? Oh no, you can get up there. Okay. Uh, basically what I did is added some clay blocks inside the wall so that when the explosion occurs, you can just get a few extra coins. All right, so let's see. The next change is up here. Okay, you could go to the pub, but you just don't fit in with these others, these ruse to your utmost chagrin. So that's a minor change. And then this change here, I actually noticed in Sean V. Martin's playthrough, I neglected to put the brewing stand GUI in um, the texture pack, so now I've added some color here. It was gray before. And then I made a very minor change to the furnace texture pack. Uh, so let's just test it out. You should see this turning pink and green instead of just being gray. So those are the kind of details that I go back and put into my maps on occasion. Okay, next change. This stanza here. <clears throat> Now where did you put it, that passionate paper? You wrote it last month and then filed it for later. Sounds much better than paper rhymed with paper. And right up here, um, this one I cheated, but in true Dr. Seuss fashion, I think it is allowed. Uh, so we say, what do we get, we ruse, for our wumps and our bruises? We get smog-smothered sky. We get soot in our shooses. So, shooses. So one more thing I'm going to change. When you're in the Grinch's lair and you come up through this trap door, a lot of people are following the signs up this way. And they just missed this quick glimpse at the Whoville. Now, this is actually the ending Whoville. But you would not have any clue that you're going to be... that there's a switcheroo up ahead. But I just want to draw a little bit more attention over there and have somebody potentially look. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put something here. In fact, what I think I'm going to put there is a painting. Did I just put leather? <laughs> I did. That's all right. Now, that's a little too obvious. So I have a key bound to the cycle painting command of single player commands mod. So I can cycle through paintings pretty quickly. I might go with that one. Um, that's a little odd. Just Is that a little odd? It certainly catches your eye, and then you can see the outside. 
Let's see. Okay, so those are my only two real options. That's a little more subtle. It might be ignored. I think I'm going to leave it like that. If you're determined to steal or destroy all their presents, you'll set fire to their tree, and you'll yank down their ribbons. That's a better rhyme scheme, and I emphasized set fire to their tree. Um, I'm not on the Grinch Mist map. This was actually um, the map that I was doing prototyping for Paradise Decay's YouTube project. But I made a change to the steel doors. I made them darker, and I changed the lattice work. So now when you're in the Rueville factory, they're going to look a lot more sinister. And in the Grinch's hideout as well. All right. So that is all I'm going to share with you this time. Watch for more of these in the next coming weeks.